Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Inna, who's the Program Manager of Animal Friends Jock Jar. How are you? Um, fine, thank you. That's good. And tell me about yourself and Animal Friends Jock Jar. Um, how did it start? Well, um, it, I didn't start it intentionally, yeah. actually, because uh, it's just like... Uh, I don't know, uh, something is helping us to gather, you mm -hmm. know, we have like six founders mm -hmm. and before we didn't really know one another. Yeah. So, so it um, joined you together. Yeah, so yeah. we joined us together mm -hmm. and um, it was good because uh, it's almost by chance, mm. you know, and afterwards it was like just uh, Time moved so fast, mm. and here we are now. Yeah, two yeah. years later. Yeah, two years yeah. later. <laughs> it so feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's good though. Yeah, and getting a lot done as well. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, um, we try to do as many as we can. Yeah, with uh, with the limitation, with mm -hmm. all the. With as much money as you got, volunteers you've got, and time, I guess. Yes, also. time. Because uh, none of us were uh, fully working for Animal Friends Show yet, but then uh, more things have to be handled, like yeah. more cases, more reports yeah. come to us, and then we decided that obviously somebody got to do the dirty job. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I. So that's program to, manager, is it? Yes, I decided to <laughs> to quit my real job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't tell my parents. <laughs> well, this is my my well, not really my job. It's my life. Yeah, yeah. My life. Well, I have a uh, I have friends. I have a uh, time outside of this, but it's mm. always connected. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. I think things that you're passionate about always yes, take over your I'm life. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like uh, even though I have to work 24 hours mm. a day when I have to, yeah. it's not a burden. Mm. It's worth it. Yeah. Because you know you're helping someone else. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and you're saying laughing about your friend, your um, parents before. Tell me the story about when you went vegan and how your parents reacted to it. Because it's quite oh, a yeah, funny story. Uh, well, I <laughs> I don't blame them because it was quite a shock. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was a carnivore. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I was raised uh, with the uh, you know um, Western oh. style diet yeah. because my parents have many foreigners friends mm -hmm. and they always eat steaks mm -hmm. and burgers and they always took me to fancy you know well it's actually a fast food yep. chain but it was quite fancy yeah. back then. Mm -hmm and I couldn't even uh, spend my just one day without burger. Mm, wow. Yeah. And then I... Um, but my favorite was the... the so you, you call it drumstick? Drumsticks, yeah. yeah like chicken, chicken drumstick. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was my favorite. Yeah. From you know mm -hmm. what. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, I moved to Jogja for my university. Mm -hmm. Where were you before? Uh, I was in uh, Jakarta. Jakarta. Yeah, so you moved to Jogja. Yeah, I yeah. was very busy, so mm -hmm. I always eat fast food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I moved to Jogja, and uh, what I love, other than those uh, meat, mm. is a uh, cycling with my bicycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was very happy when I got here, and mm. I see this this town is friendly to mm. quite friendly for. Um, Bike riding a bike, yeah, yeah. riding mm -hmm. a bike, and then I decided to go to the local market, to mm -hmm. the traditional market, because I've never done it by myself. Oh yeah, why? because I always have someone to mm. do it for me, mm. like my mom. Mm -hmm. or, and then I was a tomboy, so I didn't go to the markets or helping out at the yeah. kitchen much. Mm. <laughs> but then I decided that uh, I'm now like uh, living on my own. Mm in this town without my parents so yeah. I want to learn how to cook and then yeah. what I wanted to learn was to cook my favorite meal mm. it was the chicken drumstick mm. so I went to the market and then 
before I got to the to that table, I saw this like a uh, horrific uh, view. Like uh, I don't even want to remember. It. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw this um, chicken. They they were already uh, cut, but yeah. they were still very much alive. Yeah. Because when they cut their heads off and they still yeah, move it just around. Like, yeah. Yeah. Things like that, and then um, they were thrown out to this uh, big drum mm -hmm. with boiling water, mm. and I could hear them crying, like, mm. wah, 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 wah. Mm. and yeah. it was the first time that I realized mm. maybe I should check where my food <laughs> came from, because <laughs> yeah. it's always on the table with yeah, this yeah. nice decoration and yeah. nice plates and my family and then it so was a bit the, of a shock yeah that was a that's there was no turning point yeah. <laughs> for me again to yeah. eat meat mm -hmm. it was like I, I don't know just in that yes yeah, starting from that point Something opened my eye. Mm. It was like uh, something uh, daily that I ignore. So yeah, no, no eating animals after that. No. Mm -hmm. Since and did you that become vegan? Day. Pretty soon I after that, or didn't. Um, I started as vegetarian, mm -hmm. and it was uh, still a very strange um, diet mm. for people in Tokyo. Even like many people don't know what vegetarian mm. means. Because we, we've both been vegan for over 15 years, so yeah, back yeah. then it was not it was, many people yeah, knew. Yeah. The internet shop is just it was just a one one internet shop at yeah. the Gajahmada University. Okay. So, mm -hmm. But I got uh, I was in the punk scene. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got the uh, friends mm -hmm. from overseas. Yep. The punks yep. they came here often and they brought me some zines. Yep, zines, yeah. Yeah, zines and gave you info. It, yeah, yeah, there were many information yeah, good. from that. Mm -hmm. So I could see that. Okay, so punks, punks mean we don't like authorities. We yeah. don't believe in hierarchy. But yeah. why am I still, yeah. <laughs> you know, Following step yeah. on mm. <laughs> other life mm. <laughs> yeah. just to keep me alive? Mm. <laughs> That's quite strange. Mm. So. I found it very, very me. Mm. Well, and uh, I got home for the first time mm -hmm. after I moved here. Um, Back to Jakarta. Yeah, to mm -hmm. Jakarta to, to see meet your my parents. parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there they prepare all my favorite food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said that uh, thank you for all your love, but sorry, mom, dad, I can no longer consume any animals mm -hmm. because they are my friends mm. and then my my dad was like he he was very surprised and mm. and then he got angry mm -hmm. because uh, but more more because of confusion because yeah, he yeah. didn't know anything yeah. about vegetarianism yeah. he's a North Sumatran mm -hmm. and he's used to well, eating dogs is quite common okay. in his, uh, his area, area mm -hmm. yeah. and it was not uh, his plan to, to get uh, that words from me. Mm. <laughs> so um, he, was, uh, he was thinking that something evil has turned me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he started calling Chris and um, the string, like mm -hmm. uh, he also thought that I got a mental problem. Yeah, yeah mental yeah. problem. <laughs> maybe because uh, I wasn't used to living alone, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. then suddenly, oh, it was like the culture shock or yeah. something. And he kept me in the room. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said that I will let you out if you eat meat. <laughs> and I said, no, please let me talk to you. Mm -hmm. It's not. This is not a cult thing. Yeah. This is not like uh, I was going crazy or something mm. or losing my mind. This is something I do 
I do consciously. Yeah. This is something I choose mm. because, like, um, uh, my my parents, it's, uh, they are they are very um, they are very close to to their children. Yeah. And sometimes, well, we didn't didn't have much much chance to choose. Mm. You know, but yeah, it's, it didn't matter. Yeah. Because it's because of love, but mm. sometimes, yeah. <laughs> now mm. we we are we are adults, so yeah. Maybe it's time to you know. And how long did it take your parents to be able to accept that you well, were vegan? Well, um, it was my mom first that uh, tried to to talk to my dad mm. that um, to give me a chance mm. to talk and yeah. to make my decision, mm. and then. I talk a lot to my mom, mm -hmm. and she she talk to my dad, mm. <laughs> and then I try to get as many um, information yeah. as I could yeah. to give to my dad. Mm -hmm. You know the logical yeah. things, mm -hmm. and uh, one thing that I I was uh, facing difficulties is that he believed that well um, he believed in this teaching that animals. Are here for humans to yeah, consume. To use, so yeah. when when we don't use the animals, mm -hmm. then it means we are against God's will. Okay. Mm. So he's, wow. he's quite so he's uh, struggling with religious. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried to seek uh, literatures about uh, like Jesus yeah, and yeah. love, and yeah. I found like uh, quite many. Yeah, there's quite a lot. Yeah, quite but, a lot. Yeah. But yeah, that I think he. He got this uh, this teaching that I really like and I believe in. Mm. It's love. Mm. So yeah. why why would we kill? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's not that's love. Because right. that's what religion is yeah. meant to be about, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, love of you know God or others. And, yeah. Whatever uh, your excuse when you kill. Yeah. Then. <laughs> yeah. Not must, good. Yeah. Mm, exactly. And so, tell me um, what being vegan is like in Java, in um, Jogja, in Indonesia. Um, to find food that we can eat is not, it's not so difficult mm. because we got many vegetables mm. and tofu and tempeh. Yeah. And tempeh yeah. I got friends coming from Australia and once the first day they got here, they were, I want tempeh, yeah. I want tempeh because the tempeh in Australia it's yeah. not as good as no, here. So. No, amazing tempeh here. <laughs> and they were like saying, uh, I just can't believe not so many vegans yeah. in, in Java because you got so many tempeh. Yeah. And the fruit too. So yeah. many amazing fruits over here. Yeah. So the, pretty easy. Yeah, it's the uh, more challenging part is to face the <laughs> society or yeah. friends. They, they would ask, uh, you know, like... Uh, Silly questions yeah. like, okay, so you kill plants, huh? Mm. <laughs> yeah. If I kill animals, you kill plants. So yeah, be a good mm -hmm. murderer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you hear yeah. that a bit, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gets a bit boring after a while. <laughs> and that's not the for just once. You yeah. Know? Mm. Every time I meet the new friends and they find out mm. that, oh, you're not vegetarian. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and they, I don't know what happened. I was. I was uh, okay. Mm. I didn't have any problems, you know, like uh, making friends with. Mm. Yes, I was still friends with them, but then they, they were the ones who were like, oh. mm. it can be <laughs> confronting for other people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But definitely. I, I recall that I, I've never, you know, like uh, judged them. Mm. You know, like oh, yeah. should not. Because yeah. <laughs> that doesn't I'm help. Not, doesn't oh no, friends no. with you anymore. Yeah. yeah, I've never said something like that. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And what what's the like animal rights community like here? You would meet a lot of people through Animal Friends, Jogja. Well, um, this is uh, after the Animal Friends Jogja mm -hmm. started. Um, I found that then um, we're not alone yeah. actually, but. Yeah, it's good to have uh, one, uh, you know, a group like this mm. because you got more chance to meet uh, more people. Mm. 
like-minded people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, uh, people think that oh, we can do it alone mm. in our home. But then, yeah, now we know that when we unite, mm. then you get more and more. Yeah, definitely things coming. So it's good that, uh, and we always encourage people to. To you know, to form a group mm. like us because uh, the more the more groups helping animals, mm. it means the more you know animals will be looked after. Yeah, mm. looked after, and it's not always you know making a big organization mm. with you know yeah. like staffs and and you know one person can do so much as yeah. well. You know, empowering people too. And what would you say to people that want to go vegan that live in Indonesia? What would you suggest for them to help? Well, to just don't you know, just don't believe blindly in meat. You know, like um, people say that if you turn vegan then and not eating meat, then you will grow weak or something. Mm. But I didn't have it. No. <laughs> Maybe it's, you know, like uh, the power of mind mm. when you are... Tulus itu apa bahasa Inggris? Sincere? Yeah, when mm -hmm. you're sincere mm -hmm. or when you're honest to yourself, yeah. then you will find ways. Yeah. When you, uh, you, you're you doing it because somebody forced you or mm. you want to look cool or something, yeah. then might not work Just as well. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's not about uh, eating, this yeah. is about living. Yeah, that's yeah. right, exactly. Well, thank you for the um, interview today. And you can see Animal Friends Jokja's uh, website for more information. Thanks, Una. And see vivalavegan.net for more interviews. Mm -hmm.